Okay, tell me when. When? <laughs> Hi! Hey! Sorry, I took a sip of coffee. Excuse me. Welcome to Chocolate Cat Chat. I'm so glad you're with us today. Today I'm eating some yummy chocolate that my friend Mia and Francois, sweet friends, brought back from Vietnam when they were there recently. So, um, I'm enjoying that today. Sorry if I have it in my teeth. Uh, anyway, you wouldn't see it on this side anyway, honestly. Only over here, and I think we're clear. Anyway, I'm so glad that you are with us today because I wanted to share with you um, just a really cool and timely story for the special Holy Week. Um, I'll just jump in and share it with you and tell you a few details at the end. But if you have to jump off really soon, read this story. Jay actually wrote basically this story as, an, as a part of our book. And there's an excerpt of it on the book website blog right now. So go to HopeHealsBook.com backslash blog and you can read his excerpt but I'm about to talk about it. From the book. Yeah, from the book. But it's um cooler in some ways coming from me sharing with you rather than reading it. I say that um tongue in cheek because let's be real. Jay's writing is a little bit more moving than this crazy thing. But um Anyway, that's dumb to come here. Both have value, and here it is. I'll stop saying weird stuff now. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, for some reason, and I think it was the Lord, um, back in the spring of 2012, Jay and I were both turning 30 years old. And it's kind of a long story, but my modeling agent from back in my Birmingham days, wonderful man, Michael Fulmer, if you're watching, thank you so much for enabling this. Um, very sweetly let us use his cottage in Umbria, which, and the city was Amelia, and we went and stayed there in Italy, right near Rome. And long story short, we ended up in Rome on April 1st, Jay's 30th birthday, and no less at the Vatican. On Palm Sunday. On Palm Sunday, which all happened at the same time. April 1st, his birthday, the Vatican, Palm Sunday, boom. So we're there, and you can imagine everyone and their brother and the whole world is there too. It's not just us in the Vatican on Palm Sunday. It's people from all over the world. People are crying. Poppy, Poppy is being screamed over and over <laughs> to the Pope in different languages. And it was intense, I'll be honest. I was not expecting all of the emotions I was feeling. Um, anyway, it was just wild. And there was this very strange sense of just anticipation for his arrival and it was weird on Palm Sunday, I got to tell you, to be there, standing there for that. So basically, Jane and I are, of course, running a little late. And we're on wheelchair time, and we get into the Vatican, and there's thousands and thousands of people in this huge, huge, huge thing. And what was it? I don't know. St. Peter's Square, I think. Yeah, St. Peter. It wasn't a room. I don't know what it's called. So basically... Some sweet guards who are a little scared of, but also kind of appreciating their protection, keep ushering us forward and forward and forward and forward. And we are going with them thinking they're taking us to like where the handicapped people are seated, which inevitably is in the back of the room where you can't see anything and nobody cares about you and you have to go up some weird side elevator and you're like shoved over there with those people, right? Very weird and sad. And anyway, I won't get on the rant about that, but annoying. And I'm imagining that the Vatican is not exactly handicapped accessible. So, this is going to be really unique. So, they keep ushering us forward and forward and forward. Suddenly, we kind of go around this turn, and we see that where they're ushering us up to 
is the front row. So here's us and here's the podium where the Pope and all these special people are going to be. So we are literally seated with all of the other wheelchairs on the front row. Now, we, we get planted up there next to, like, truly a man with cystic fibrosis, a man with ALS, Lou Gehrig's, somebody else over here on spina bifida, and, of course, I'm feeling in that same moment weird, guilty to even be, like, categorized with these people who are dealing with legit major stuff. And here I've got a little paper cut and snuck in the back door with my wheelchair. So it's fabulous for perspective always, actually. Side note, but we're sitting there looking around at these people with broken bodies and their sweet caregivers. And Jay and I are just sobbing because as the Pope comes out and comes up on his little Pope mobile, he like rides in, very cute. And we're seeing this whole scene and it's overwhelming. It's hard to put into words that this is the front row. And yet, it was like the veil was lifted for a moment and we got to see the beautiful picture, what the kingdom of God really looks like. Thank you. That these broken people who don't fit really very well into our world, the last, if you will, the last, are in fact the first. I believe it's Matthew, or no, it's Mark 10, 31. It says the first will be last and the last will be first. And what a beautiful picture, what a beautiful word picture that was in that moment that the very last and least are on the front row looking up and feeling almost like suddenly these wheelchairs are seats of honor and this actually the the thing that makes our life the hardest was actually in that moment the greatest thing the thing that got us to the front of the line and I think that's such a beautiful picture of so many of our sufferings and sadness. They're actually the thing bringing us to the place we needed to go, we, where we needed to go, and ultimately the place that's going to help lift us up and see things differently. It was um, one of the most profound moments of Jay's life, I'm sure mine for sure, of just the the people who are never considered, um, are just never able to, to get to the front, to have a seat at the table, if you will. The whole Luke 14 notion of invite the guests to the party who can't repay you. Here, Here's the group that can't repay this beautiful offering, and yet we got, we got to do it. And it was... It was a memory for a lifetime, honestly. I would like, really encourage you to read Jay's writing about it and see pictures of it and relive it with us for a moment, if you will, by going to hopehillsbook.com backslash the blog because it was very profound. It has implications for us all. That the last will be first in the kingdom of God. And then whatever ways you are feeling dead last and like you are very much the last at the party or the last in every way in everything that in fact in the kingdom of god that's exactly where you are are most valued that the very worst last place dude wheelchair candidate whatever is actually the winner and that's very cool in that beautiful upside down kingdom to think well hey your terrible suffering is actually this beautiful point of entry to um kingdom living what a blessing what a blessing
Thank y'all so much for being with me today. I hope you can see the hope sign. Can you see it? Through the sun back there, hope. H-O-P-E, hope is the word, gang. Sorry, I'm choking on my delicious Vietnamese chocolate I ate <laughs> before we started this. And I'm rambling on and on. But guys, I hope you have just such an amazing Easter. Um, I, I know this Holy Week brings up so much for those of us who walk with the Lord. And it's, it's weird and hard to go through Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and that Saturday. And just kind of a, I mean, there are no words actually. I don't know what to say. It's intense. And when you get to Easter morning, there's just this beautiful thing for the believer. And I pray that we can all experience that afresh, whether we walked with God 10 minutes or whatever, 90 years, that there's such beauty to what this Sunday holds for us. And I pray we can see it with fresh eyes and experience always just the beautiful crazy redemption that Christ brings and what joy what joy for those who hope in the Lord woohoo I hope you all have an amazing Easter and anything I need to answer like a question or anything hey, hello's from Ireland and Maryland and everywhere in between hello 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 Ireland Maryland and everywhere in between Okay, I'm going to sign off if nobody has some big important question they need to ask or something. Nope. No. Thank you. Okay. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Easter. Talk to you later.